Hey y'all, I'm going to do a meatloaf slider recipe today and I just love meatloaf and yesterday uh, when I made it we just had it with potatoes and uh, green beans I think and anyway um, today we're having it for leftovers but I wanted something a little different than just uh, meatloaf and potatoes again so I decided to make meatloaf sliders. And so I thought that I would show you how I do it. And always remember you can add to and take away from uh, the recipe to make it what your family likes and to make the recipe your own. So I will get to it and show you what I'm doing. So this is the bread I'm using. I got it at Food Line and it's um, dinner rolls. They're potato rolls by Mar uh, Martin's and so I've already cut the bottom one but you have to cut these in half so I've got both of those cut now and just um, take the tops off from the bottoms Wow, I cut that one terrible. I'm going to have to cut it again a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's better. Okay. So now we have our bottoms and our tops. And the first thing I'm going to do, I like uh, my meatloaf with mustard. You look like you're crooked. So, I'm going to put a little mustard on the bottom. Not a whole lot. Just enough to kind of get a little mustard taste every now and then. And then, this is the meatloaf I made, and I have a meatloaf recipe uh, on my um, recipes, and you can use that, or you can just find one that you like, but this is what is left over from what I fixed yesterday. So, I'm going to... And when I made this, I didn't have enough egg, and it's, this is kind of falling apart, but that's okay. You just have to chew less when you eat it. So I'm going to put some meatloaf on every piece, or every bun. This might take just a minute. And I've heated this up because this will go in the oven, but uh, you do need your meatloaf heated up. And meatloaf freezes really well, so if you um, make meatloaf and you need to freeze it, go right ahead because it freezes, like I say, really well. Almost to the finish. I feel like I need just a little bit more in some spots. Okay, I believe that's good. Let me rinse my hands. Okay. 
All right, the next thing uh, that we're going to do is make a little um, sweet glaze to go on it. And I have a bowl here, and I have a little ketchup in here because it was the last of the um, bottle. And now I have another bottle of ketchup here. I really like Food Line ketchup. It's really a good ketchup. So I'm going to put some in there. And there's probably about a third of a cup of ketchup. And to that, I'm going to put pancake syrup. I'm using the sugar-free because that's what my husband uh, has to use because of his diabetes. And so I'm going to put couple tablespoons of the um, pancake syrup in with the ketchup and just give that a good stir get it mixed up well and then just pour some over each each little mound of meatloaf you don't want to put like a whole whole bunch because you, it'll make your sandwich kind of hard to eat it'll be drip and i may have too much as it is so there is that and then I'm going to put some cheese. And this is Swiss cheese. It's just um, individually wrapped Swiss cheese. And you can use that or American or whatever you like or nothing at all. Just whatever you choose. I'm not putting a whole lot of cheese because Swiss is a little bit of a strong cheese I think but I love it uh, anyway I just love cheese and the stronger the better so um, talking about my husband and his diabetes um, I thought for those of you that are following along with him he went to the back doctor and is having to have a few tests and things run he's been going through this with the military since 2005 so it looks like they're finally gonna do something and uh, after he has those few tests then they're gonna go ahead and give him the surgery if everything turns out like they feel like it will uh, back surgery. It's actually his uh, sacroiliac and um, uh, they will do that and there's a very good success rate so he's looking forward to getting some relief and with the beginning of dementia he's still pretty much like he was just what you might imagine just forgetful and things of that nature. But we're blessed. He's, he's doing good otherwise. So that is it for the inside of the sandwich. And so we're going to put the tops back on. And then I have in this bowl a little butter with a little garlic salt and a little Italian seasoning. And what I'm going to do is just put it over the top. These are a lot like the funeral sandwiches, I believe they're called. I've done a video on those too, and they are so delicious. But I thought this would be real good with um, this garlic butter on it. So... Just slather it in the garlic butter. Okay, 
So that's it. And now what I'm going to do is take a piece of aluminum foil and just lay it on it. I'm not going to press it down around it or anything. I'm just going to lay it on it so that the sandwiches can heat through for 10 minutes on 375 degrees. After the 10 minutes on 375, just take the aluminum foil away and let them cook five more minutes and that will kind of make the um, crust a little bit hard and um, uh, kind of where it has the butter and stuff kind of make that uh, cook in a little bit. So I will see you back in about 15 minutes and we'll test these. Okay, the sliders are finished and I will give you a look at what they look like. And there they are, uh, 10 minutes covered and five minutes uncovered and it made the tops just barely have a little bit of hardness to them. And I can't wait to have one. They really are delicious, especially if you are a meatloaf lover. So here is what it looks like. And uh, this is going to be our supper. I'm sure you knew that. And with it, we're going to have pickles and potato chips. I was gone most of the day. I took uh, my husband to the VA hospital to be fitted, which I never knew that you had to be fitted, but to be fitted for a walker. And it's about an hour and 15 minute drive one way, so it's been a long day, so I just made something quick. But I'm going to give this a taste and we'll see what I think. Mm. That is so good. I love the the little um, glaze I made with the ketchup and um, pancake syrup. It really gives it a good flavor. Anyway, this is delicious. I could eat meatloaf from the bottom of a shoe. I just love it. So anyway, I hope you give this a try. Uh, and see what you think. Uh, it's really good when you're needing something quick to cook. And so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Please know that from the bottom of my heart. I always appreciate each one of you watching. So have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.